with a Halloween design and I decided to actually do some reverse stamping with the same plate that I used uh, last week. I couldn't decide which sort of style of design I wanted so one hand's got like more sort of chocolates and lollies and the other hand's got more like witches and ghosts on it. Um, the design actually got off to a little bit of a rocky start. I had a lot of trouble picking up the images and then realized this little split that I've had in my um, Monology Monocle Stamper has gotten uh, quite a bit bigger since I last used it and so um, it was finally time to actually use my new uh, stamper head so I've swapped it out. I did notice this a few months ago um, and in my last order made sure that I got a new stamper head so that I could um, just keep using the same bits. I do love it's really cool that you can actually change the stamper heads without having to buy a whole new stamper um, and considering like all the outside housing and everything's still in really good condition. So I started this design with um, just putting a few images down on the mat. I actually did an experimental one just to make sure that the colours would work particularly because I've got such a dark purple base with the polish. Um, I did uh, do the 10 images, although you only see a four here just because of the two test images that I did earlier. Uh, so uh, with the colours that I started to fill in on the um, little candy corn, I did a combination of gold, uh, kind of like an orange and then a sort of slightly different orange. I also used this gold throughout a few of the different designs, so including the um, little cupcake and just a little bit on the chocolate as well just that little bit of sparkle and something a little bit different um, for the rest of the chocolate I just added a bit of combination of um, a, I guess more of a bronze kind of color um, and then blue for the wrapper um, and then the cupcake I decided to go with the same orange that I used in the candy corn I really like using the same colors across different designs where I can Firstly because it stops me having 20 different colours out on my desk which uh, takes forever to pack up um, but also it just adds some symmetry and some uh, I guess flow on effect or flow between the different images on each hand. Um, I have done designs where I don't have the same colours coming across and they will look just as good it just depends on what I'm trying to achieve with it and how many colours I want to get, actually get out as well. Um, for those that haven't used the dotting tool before, I'm just using a dabbing technique so try not to rub it because if you do rub it what will happen is any of the design, so like the facial features on these, um, will come off and just uh, it just won't look great. So definitely just use the dabbing technique, put as much nail polish as you need on it. I let these dry, uh, put a top coat on, um, just using Manology smudge free top coat. And then uh, once that was pretty much nearly dry, I lifted those up really, really carefully and popped them on my nail, followed by another uh, clear coat and, or smudge free top coat and then a clear coat just to seal everything in. So here's my Halloween design. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you're doing any Halloween nail art or what you think of this design. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Bye.